Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode on the Vortex server. I'm Cryostasis, and I'm all alone today. Aww. Anyways, since the last episode, I've done a little bit of work. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. Um, first off, I want to say that I've dug out a little bit of stuff. Yay, but I've realized that it's really slow digging out a little bit of stuff. Um, that little bit right there probably took me... 15 to 20 minutes. I wasn't paying all that much attention and of course I was making sure that I kept the majority of the silverfish blocks. I think I'm gonna keep like 20 of these just because I you know just in case I can find like a prank or something I want to do with them but that little bit took me quite a while which makes me want a beacon for here. Now in the last episode we fought a wither and if you watched the last episode you realize how terrible that turned out. But if we come back in here, and we look in here, you can see that I've got nine more skulls. Um, I had, I don't remember how many I had after the last episode, five left maybe, maybe more, maybe less. Um, but I actually have gone to the Wither Farm and gotten at least another probably six skulls from there, which puts me up to nine because I actually went and fought another Wither off camera this time. Once again, I went to the Nether, and I tried to use a sticky piston to push him up into the ceiling this time because I read that that would help and I actually went to a test world and tested it and it did not. He still exploded and I had to actually fight him and he ended up killing me one time which I'm up to 30 deaths now but uh, that one time is not too big of a deal because he actually killed me after he was already dead with his wither effects because I didn't bring any milk. But as you can see I laid some tracks all the way to here, which is probably about a quarter of the way, maybe less than a quarter, of the, maybe a fifth of the way uh, of the distance of this tunnel. But if we just stand right here and do that, we will bounce around. And here is one of the three or four zombie um, spawners that I found uh, that are relatively close to my base. And if we come down here, you can see I've got a fully powered beacon here. Now. This is what I've done with it. I've taken my Efficiency 5 picks, I've got several of them, Efficiency 5, Efficiency 5, Efficiency 5, I've even repaired them all. I've taken my Silk Touch 1, I just got another Silk Touch 1, and uh, yeah, this is what I've done. And I was in need of diamonds, uh, and iron, because the I want another fully powered beacon, and these things cost 164 iron blocks each uh, for one beacon, which is absolutely insane. You can actually, little trick if you want to save on some iron and you need more than one effect in uh, your base uh, coming from one beacon or whatever, uh, you can put, like you can come down here and make this bottom layer a 10 by 10, then 8 by 8, so on and so forth, and when you get up here you're gonna have, uh, what, 4 by 4? or something like that, and the middle four blocks will all hold a fully powered beacon which won't cost you 164 uh, iron ore or iron blocks per beacon, it'll be much much less. Um, so that's a little trick, you know, trick, and if we look in this chest you can see I've just got a ton of cobble and a little bit of obsidian dirt, smooth stone, things like that. I've been tossing out a bunch of cobble and stuff because as you can imagine this place fills up pretty quickly, like fills your inventory with it pretty quickly, but in here you can see that I hit the jackpot with diamonds and just about everything else, including iron, which is something that I desperately needed. The diamonds and the iron are the two things that I was really, really needing, so I wanted to show you guys that real quick. Um, but this episode, our goal is to get a beacon for our base. We're also probably, this goes straight up through um, the... Uh, Ocean, by the way, if we hit F3, you can see under Biome, which is the third line from the uh, bottom on the left side there, uh, it's in the ocean. So I had to go up there and play some glass, and it turns out that Omega, uh, who is another member on the server, actually lives pretty close to me. Like, from up there, I could see his base, so he's actually not that far. But... Before we do any of that, you know, getting a new beacon and things like that, 
I want to go do something, a little bit of something for the community. And that involves us going to the end and placing down just a couple of blocks, really. But I think I want to use snow blocks for this. And we actually have a um, snow block emporium. I don't remember exactly what it's called. It's like the snow emporium or something like that at spawn. And I think that I'm going to go use that. So I will be right back. Ah yes, the Snowporium by Bright Wanderer. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, so here we are. One stack of snow, as you can see there, uh, equals one stack of any listed block, sand, clay, smooth stone, stone break, mossy cobble, glass, sandstone, hardened clay, and quartz. Now some of these, like quartz, uh, that's kind of expensive. A stack of quartz blocks for a stack of snow blocks. That's really expensive, but when it comes to stone bricks and even smooth stone, I've got plenty. So I'm going to go ahead and buy two stacks of snow for two stacks of stone bricks. And, uh, yeah, there we go. Awesome. Okay, so why did I want snow blocks? We're going into the end because these, this is why I wanted snow blocks. This obsidian right here. Now, I have a plan for obsidian, I'm not really sure if it's in the near, near future, but obsidian is always nice to have anyway, and I want a lot of it. Now, if we come out here, you can see a lot of endermen, so let's hide under here. Um, you can see that we have lots and lots of these giant obsidian things, but I think that getting the obsidian from that platform right there that you can see, we're, well, ha at least having the ability to get it would be... A good thing uh, especially for when those giant pillars run out because like I said I have an idea for a lot of that stuff like a lot of obsidian and I also am a huge fan of having a large amount of obsidian just kind of as backup uh, as it is and so that means that I want to place a platform of snow blocks underneath that obsidian platform there so that anytime you teleport in here you can just mine it right up. Alright and there we go we've got a quick little snow platform there. Now I'm going to show you guys why I wanted snow for this instead of like cobble or endstone or you know some other block such as that and of course things like dirt would have worked, um, sand, well not sand but sandstone definitely would not have worked, things like that. But the reason is because snow, we put it there, it takes forever to break with a pick. Now with a shovel, it's gone instantly. But if somebody's standing here and they mine that, and even if they you know fall down here, they're not going to be able to mine their way out too terribly quickly. So they can go ahead and mine as much of this obsidian as they so desire. We'll take four pieces because four pieces sounds fantastic and they can either run across that platform or just end up right out. Now, you can see that I just tore up our spawning platform. Now, there is a reason that there's a giant hole right there, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you that reason, in case you don't know already. Um, as you can see, we've already mined our four obsidian from there, and I didn't replace any of it, so we get back out of the end, and then if we come right back, run down the stairs and straight into the end portal, the platform itself will be perfectly fine, which is the entire reason, as you can see, it's perfectly fine. It's the entire reason I wanted that platform down there, is it's an uh, unlimited obsidian farm, quite literally, and I can mine all of this that I want, go right back, and it'll just continuously respawn. This happens with this entire area of obsidian every time somebody enters the end. This if we place that there and come back into the end, it'll be gone. And that obsidian right there will be back. Uh, it respawns this platform every time you enter the end, and anything on the platform or straight above it is automatically deleted. But as you can see, we can come down here, and our platform down here is perfectly fine. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, for, and I put a two block gap on all sides. I'm thinking about going to buy more snow blocks and put like a wall up around this so that nobody you know falls off. But um, it's just an unlimited obsidian farm. Uh, that way, if people really want like the pillars in the end for whatever reason to stay, or if you know they well win, I guess I should say they do eventually all get completely mined out. 
it won't be a problem. Now I do want to put a beacon over near that obsidian platform uh, with haste 2 on it eventually. Not right now because I don't have the iron blocks for that, um, although I do have the skulls for that as you can see. If we look at, at our iron block, uh, I've got 64 and 7. Well, I guess I can make that into an iron block as well, but I've also got all that iron ore at my um, farm basically for it. Oops, this stuff goes in there and we can actually take this and we'll just put it there. Perfect. Okay guys, so the next thing that we're going to be doing for today, we've got several projects that I want to get done. Uh, the last thing we'll probably do is the wither fight, but I want to move my tunnel. The tunnel that I have here is it's a good tunnel, it's served me well, but it comes out up here instead of down inside the hub, like in the down there where it's supposed to. And so I kind of want to go check some coordinates real quick. Um, first off, the coordinates for my base will get last because I'm already here, but um, as you can see, it's over in this kind of corner area. So if we kind of look down, we have either yellow or red that we can um, kind of look at for possible points for the um, end portal base that I have going on, which is really a good thing because um, there are four community spots down there, one in each color. Green is taken by the witch farm, a blue is taken by the wither farm, so I think that I might put the end portal at either the yellow or the red community spots, which are at the very ends of the tunnels. Let's see if I can pull this off. Oh my god. Ow. <laughs> I think I'm too low now. Dang it. Boing. Ah, oh, I am. Okay. <laughs> that was a fail. I was hoping that I could jump off of that, bounce off of this, and bounce right up there, but I was unable to. Okay. Ah. Crap. <laughs> oh my gosh. So much fail today. Oh, this beacon here is so nice. What the heck? Okay, maybe Ender Pearls are just not my forte. We're gonna get up there this time. Yeah. Okay, so as you can see, there are some holes still in this one, but it is pretty close to complete. Um, Subsign has climbed his area, Lars has climbed his. I don't know who owns that one, but here's a community spot. And if we take a look at the coordinates, we've got 72, uh, 75, 25. So that's a oops, that's a pretty good spot for that one, and I don't think the yellow area is built like at all. So we're probably going to end up connecting to red as long as the coordinates are somewhat close to matching up. And I also want to hopefully this episode put in a minecart elevator either here or around my base, just so that I personally will have an easy way of getting around. Yeah, this is not even remotely close to done, so we're probably gonna go with the red area. Alrighty, we are here at the portal once again. So if we hit F3, we can see our coordinates again. 94, 115, 62. So we need to drop about 40 blocks down, and we would be in a pretty good position to get right into that uh, red nether hub area. Um, let me quickly explain what this here is for. This goes about a thousand blocks that way, and I just did that so that I could find some of the new blocks that are in one of the new biomes. I got myself about six stacks of andesite, diorite, and granite, so yeah. But let's go ahead and work on moving this portal down. I have gotten myself some fire resistance potions so that I won't die in a miserable, horrible, fiery death, and uh, we'll be back when we get a little bit of a place down there. Okay guys, so I am at Y level 75 now at, well, my portal's directly right up there. If you just follow that ladder, you'll be right next to it. Oi, you're ruining video, jerk. Did that just like make that one deflect? If so, that was really cool. Go away. Oh yeah. Okay, um, so yeah, the portal's right up there. Uh, the ladder leads up to it, and as you can see, the red part of the hub is right there. Hi! How did you even spawn right there? Jerk. Making a mess? Ugh. Dang, guys. 
Uh, so yeah, we're gonna have to definitely get this closed in. Um, as you can see, I put some slime blocks down there so I can just fall straight down for my portal. Um, we have this right here, uh, which I'm not 100% sure what that goes to, so we might need to raise our platform or lower it or something like that. But I wanna go up to the top and see if, because I'm not sure that I want to completely destroy everything up here because I like having a network in the ceiling and you know I've got like a tunnel that I showed you guys a little bit ago the thousand block long tunnel that's um, that one right there that goes to the area uh, where I can get some like granite and andesite and diorite and things like that um, so but let's go ahead and just try this we can we get up there oh yeah Okay, so yeah, we can even raise this a couple more blocks. So we need to find out what that there is for. Uh, plus, I kind of want to try some of that andesite, diorite, and granite, and the combinations of them, just to kind of look at the blocks and see, you know, what they look like. Because I really haven't played with them at all. I went and mined six sacks of each and put them in a chest, and that was it. <laughs> I didn't do anything after that. Uh, that stuff spawns like crazy in the new um, areas, though. Like, it's everywhere. It's so easy to get. And if anybody on the server wants some, uh, you can use that tunnel right there. That's perfectly fine with me. Um, if, just fair warning, it is a long tunnel. Uh, so, as you can see, six stacks of granite, diorite, and andesite. Let's grab, like, a stack of each. And let's just come out here, like, into this kind of open area and just kind of see what they look like. Uh, let's move this crap off my bar and move these on. So... Mm, we'll put granite and diorite and andesite. Where'd it go? There it is. This one looks so much like gravel to me. It's insane, but let's see. Can we do anything with it? Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, is there anything we can do with like these? No? Okay, so... I guess just the polished stuff. Let's go ahead and make polished of everything. Just to, you know, kind of see what these look like. I don't know if like putting these in a furnace would do anything differently um, or not. Hmm. Oh, I kind of like that one. It's kind of like grimy almost though. That one's like pretty torn up and that one, I don't even know what to think about that one. Wish this um, <laughs> effects the fire resist would kind of go away. Let's come in here real quick though. And I'm going to put some of this in, like, a furnace and see if that does anything. No? Okay. What about, like, these? I didn't think so. Um, I really haven't played with any of this, like, at all, so I don't know. Is this all there is? Oh, I think that we can come in here. Let's just grab a workbench for out here. Uh, grab a crafting table. Let's grab... Oh, we've already got some stone bricks. See if we can do it with some of these as well, and some of these. Um, just kind of test some things out, Let's see if we can do anything new with those. Um, okay, let's come out here now. And I really want to just kind of look at some of these new blocks. And I'm, I know that we can make some new ones out of you know some of the old ones. So let's see. I think if we do this and then this... Ooh. Oh. oh, I like it. Um, is there anything else we can do? Like, can we do this? This? No? Okay. We probably can't do it with the cracked or anything like that. Does that do anything? This? This? No, okay. So maybe those are the only blocks that we can make. Can we do anything with these now? Oh, it'd be so cool if we do those as half slabs, but I don't think we can. Okay, so yeah, it must just be uh, these blocks here. Man, circle stones though. So we might have to take uh, pretty much all of these blocks and go in there and do something with our um, little area in the nether there. I'm not really sure what we would do. But I'm pretty sure all of these are gas-proof, since they're all stone. And so that makes them very, very um, good. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go in there and see what we can do. Okay, and there we are. As you can see, I've raised the platform by, I don't know, maybe 
eight blocks or so. And I followed that, and it turns out I believe it's Lars's tunnel, which just happens to be intersecting Sepson's, um, which mine nearly intersects as well. It's like, yeah, they touch. That's how close they are. Um, but yeah, so I raised this up so that I could just go right over his, and as you can see, we've got that the nether hub right there, the red section, and I'm going to hook in right into the back of there. Um, and if people on the server don't want me to use that as the um, community spot for this, just let me know and I can find a new place. But um, as you can see, we're at Y level 83, so we need to drop down 8 blocks to get there, um, which isn't too big of a deal. I'm going to work on that uh, here pretty shortly, actually. Um, I also had to raise the slime blocks by I don't know how many blocks, but quite a few. But now if you bounce on them, you will come up right about half a block, you'll be able to clear this by about half a block, so it's just perfect from dropping way up there. I kind of really want to start testing with slime blocks a lot to see if there's like a limit to how high they can bounce you, because they that's a pretty high bounce right there. I'm at Y level 83 now, and these are at uh, 62, so they bounce me 21 blocks, which is pretty dang good. I need to get rid of this lower platform, unless I can find maybe like a storage idea for it or something like that. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a platform right about here, and I'm going to have my portal somewhere. I don't know exactly where, but it will hopefully lead back to my base. So I'm going to get some of this stuff set up, maybe work on getting that out there and connect it in, and then we will be back. Okay, so I've got all that done and taken care of. We're not going to work too much more on this today. I just wanted to show you guys that. Perfect. And I went ahead and connected it to the nether hub. Uh, so that's all connected up. I've claimed the spot for the end portal and my base. So yeah, that's all we're going to do for this today since we've got uh, so many things to do today. So many things. And we might work more on that, uh, well, definitely in an upcoming episode. I'm not sure if it'll be next episode or uh, episode shortly after that, but it'll be pretty soon either way. Alright guys, I didn't get nearly as much done today as I wanted to, but I just checked the time on the video and it's getting pretty long. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do the wither fight real quick. Uh, this time we're in the overworld. Uh, right over there is where I've been uh, mining all my resources and stuff, and I just came over here to do the wither fight. Um, so yeah, I've got some potions, uh, splash swiftness, and then we've got strength 2 and regen. So um, yeah... That should make this fight a little bit easier. I made sure to have my infinity bow as well as an arrow. All this is blast protection 4. Uh, I've got some crazy armor. Like, it's as good as it can get. Um, so yeah, we're going to place down the head and take this guy on. We don't have quite enough iron for the beacon yet, but that's okay because I don't plan on putting the beacon down uh, in my base just yet anyway. I still want to blow some stuff up with some TNT, but let's go ahead and make this guy blow up real quick. So, there we go. Let's just do this. Oh no. I'm going to back up a little bit more. And we're going to drink this. Alright. Stop. Holy... He's coming after me. Okay, here we go. Just knock him out. Kill him. Oh no, don't don't kill me. Don't kill me yet. Okay. Did I get the star? I did get the star. Okay. Whew. Uh, that's gonna kill me. <laughs> Got some gold there. I'm just gonna come out here so that it's a little easier to grab my stuff, and then I will be right back, guys. Whew, that was terrifying. Alrighty, guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you're really looking forward to the next episode, because you see that box right behind, like right above my head right there, with that TNT? Yeah, we're gonna be TNT in the crap out of this place in the next episode. As you can see, I've got a good chunk of TNT, and I'm very, very excited to uh, blow some stuff up. So that's what we're going to be doing in the next episode. I promise, I promise, I promise we're going to be tearing down some of these walls and maybe even down into there a little bit. We're going to get some 
progress done on this base in the next episode. So definitely, definitely be looking forward to that. I might even recruit some help if people want to help me blow stuff up. I I know that at least DH is a fan of TNT, but uh, maybe we just won't invite him because he'll put buttons everywhere. <sighs> So I will see you guys in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.